From the lions of the African savanna to the hammerhead sharks that inhabit the world's oceans, these animals have evolved fascinating mating strategies that have helped them to ensure the survival of their species. Some engage in fierce battles with rivals, while others use intricate dances or displays to woo potential mates. Today, we will explore 20 animal species with the most unusual mating behaviors. Without further ado, let's get started. Lion mating. It's not uncommon for lions to engage in multiple rounds of mating in a day. But a lion couple in the kingdom of Rwanda has taken it to the next level. The newly coupled lion and lioness have been seen mating over 100 times a day for the past four days, which is a staggering display of animal passion. Once the female is ready to mate, the process can be quick and intense. The male lion will assert his dominance through biting and scratching, and the female will submit to his advances. It's a raw and primal display of animal behavior that has captivated observers for centuries. But what's even more interesting is that lion mating can involve multiple males. In some cases, a female lion will mate with multiple males to ensure the survival of her offspring. This behavior, known as polyandry, is relatively rare in the animal kingdom, but is common among lions. The African Buffalo Mating during mating season, male buffaloes engage in intense battles for dominance, using their large horns to fight and establish mating rights. Only the strongest males are chosen by females for mating, and mothers may even abandon their young if they sense that they are not strong enough to survive. Mating is a difficult process for African buffaloes, also known as Cape buffaloes, due to the challenging life they lead in the African savanna. Being one of the primary prey animals for predators such as lions and crocodiles, they must constantly balance the need to reproduce with the risk of predation. Furthermore, female buffaloes must protect their young from predators while also searching for scarce food and water in the savanna. Despite these challenges, the strong social bonds and protective instincts of African buffaloes have enabled them to persist in their harsh environment. Black Rhino Mating during mating season, rhino females will often actively resist mating attempts from males. This is because male rhinos can be aggressive and may harm the female during the mating process. As a result, female black rhinos will often run away from males or even charge at them to ward them off. Mating in rhinos can be a complex and sometimes violent process. Male rhinos are known to be very territorial and will fight with other males to establish dominance and mating rights. These fights can be incredibly aggressive and can even result in serious injury or death. When a male rhino finds a receptive female, he will typically approach her slowly and sniff her rear end to check if she is ready to mate. If she is receptive, she will remain still and allow the male to mount her from behind. Successful mating is crucial to ensuring the survival of these magnificent creatures in the wild. Cheetah mating. Cheetahs are not only fast in speed, but also in sex, as their coupling period lasts only 20 to 30 seconds. The world's fastest land animal sure is fast. These big cats become sexually mature between 18 to 23 months of age. Male cheetahs will follow around females in heat for days, engaging in all sorts of charming behaviors like scent marking and yowling until the female is ready to mate. And when the moment finally arrives, it's over in a flash blink and you'll miss it. During this time, the male will engage in behaviors such as scent marking and vocalizations to attract the female's attention and signal his intent to mate. Interestingly, cheetahs have a unique reproductive system that allows females to conceive even if they only mate once during their estrus cycle. This is due to the release of multiple eggs during ovulation, which increases the likelihood of fertilization and pregnancy. Flamingo mating. Flamingo mating behavior is a beautiful and unique spectacle to witness. Male flamingos gather together in groups known as flamboyants and perform synchronized displays to attract females. The displays involve elaborate movements including head flagging, wing salutes, and marching in unison. Once a male has caught the eye of a female, they begin to engage in preening each other's feathers, a behavior that helps to strengthen their bond. 
The male then proceeds to perform a dance where he walks around the female with his head held high and wings extended. If the female is receptive, she will call out to him, and they will stand side by side, their necks entwined. After mating, the pair will work together to build a nest out of mud and twigs, which they will use to lay and incubate their eggs. Flamingos are monogamous during the breeding season, meaning they form pairs and mate with the same partner each year. Leopard mating. Did you know that leopards can mate up to 100 times a day? That's right, these big cats have quite the appetite when it comes to reproduction. During mating season, which typically occurs in the rainy season, male leopards will roam their territory in search of receptive females. Once a male has found a female, he will follow her closely, sometimes for several days, until she is ready to mate. The mating process itself is brief, lasting only a few seconds, but it can occur repeatedly over a period of several days. Interestingly, female leopards have the ability to control their own fertility. They can hold on to a male's sperm for an extended period of time before fertilization occurs. This helps to ensure that the female will conceive during optimal conditions, such as during a period of abundant prey. After mating, the male and female go their separate ways. Vulture mating. Vulture mating is not as glamorous as some other animals. It usually takes place on the ground and is a relatively quick process. The male will approach the female and start pecking her neck or beak, which is a sign of courtship. Once she is receptive, the pair will mate. Vultures don't build nests in the traditional sense. They are scavengers and often lay their eggs in abandoned nests of other birds, on the ledges of cliffs or on the ground. The female will lay one or two eggs, and both parents will take turns incubating the eggs. Interestingly, vultures have a unique defense mechanism for protecting their young. When threatened, the parents will regurgitate a foul-smelling substance at the predator, which can deter them from attacking. Vultures are also known for their excellent eyesight, which they use to locate carrion from great distances. Snow Leopards Mating Snow leopards are known to be elusive and solitary animals, so observing their mating behavior in the wild is rare. When snow leopards are ready to mate, the male will approach the female and begin a series of vocalizations, such as growls, hisses, and moans, to express his intentions. The female may respond by growling and hissing back, but eventually she will become receptive to the male and allow him to mate. Snow leopards mate during the winter months of January to mid-March. The males will often follow the scent trail left by females and compete with other males for the opportunity to mate. The male will approach the female and they will engage in a brief mating ritual, which lasts about five to seven days. The pair will then go their separate ways. Snow leopard populations are under threat due to habitat loss, poaching, and climate change. Praying Mantis Mating The praying mantis is known for its unique and somewhat gruesome mating behavior. While the male praying mantis may have a brief moment of pleasure, it often results in his demise at the hands, or rather mandibles, of the female. After a courtship dance and seduction by pheromones, the female praying mantis invites the male to mate. However, the act of mating often results in the male being decapitated by the female. Female praying mantises don't always kill their mates after mating. While some species do exhibit this behavior, others don't and in some cases, the male can even continue to mate with the female for some time after his head is removed. One theory is that it's a form of sexual cannibalism that ensures the survival of the female's offspring. By consuming the male, the female gains vital nutrients that she can use to support the growth of her eggs. Anglerfish mating. The mating behavior of some anglerfish species is unique and bizarre. Males become one with their partners, with their tissues fusing together. These males are much smaller than females, only about 1 1 60th of their partner's size, and roughly a half a million times lighter. Their sole purpose is to pass on their genes, but finding a mate is complicated in the dark depths of the ocean where they live. To find a mate, a super mini male has to track a species-specific pheromone that the female emits. When he finds her, he bites her in the most romantic way possible, and then his mouth dissolves, and his tissues fuse with hers. 
The pair will eventually share everything, including a circulatory system. They will remain that way forever. She provides the nutrients and he fertilizes the eggs until death do their part. Even then, they don't separate. And we'll see you in the next video. Fireflies have a complex mating ritual that begins with the emergence of female fireflies in their adult form. These females only have a few weeks to live, and their main goal is to find a suitable mate. As the sun sets, thousands of male fireflies light up the dusk, hoping to impress the female audience with their flashing lights. However, females are not easily impressed and are looking for something special. They prefer males that can sustain a long flash, as this indicates they have a larger nuptial gift, which is food for their developing eggs. When a female spots a male with potential, she opens the conversation by emitting a flash of her own. The male will only approach if the female responds with a specific light pattern, and if she does, they will mate. After mating and laying their eggs, all the adults die, so this spectacular light show only lasts for a few short weeks each summer. Snowy Owls Mating Snowy owls are monogamous and mate for life. The mating season for them typically occurs in the late winter months. During this time, the male snowy owl will perform a mating dance for the female. He will puff up his feathers and make a series of hoots and calls to attract the female's attention. If the female is receptive, she will allow the male to mate with her. After mating, the female snowy owl will lay a clutch of 3 to 11 eggs. The eggs will be incubated by both parents for around 32 days until they hatch. The male snowy owl is responsible for bringing food to the nest during this time, while the female incubates the eggs. Once the eggs have hatched, both parents will continue to care for the young owlets. The owlets will remain in the nest for several weeks until they are able to fly and hunt for themselves. Albatross mating the albatross mating ritual involves a beautiful dance performed by both the male and female. The dance is an important part of the courtship process as it helps to establish a bond between the pair and allows them to assess each other's fitness and capability. Once a pair has formed, they will mate for life, returning to the same breeding site each year. Albatrosses are known for their long lifespans, with some individuals living up to 60 years or more. This means they have plenty of time to perfect their dance moves and find the perfect mate. During the breeding season, both males and females will incubate the egg and take turns to forage for food. The bond between a pair of albatrosses is strong, and they will often greet each other with the same dance that they performed during their courtship, reaffirming their commitment to each other. Polar Bears Mating Polar bear mating is a complex process that involves tracking, sizing up, and testing potential partners. In the vast empty landscape of the Arctic, finding a mate can be a challenge, but polar bears have an excellent sense of smell that can detect another bear from over the horizon. Males can spend weeks tracking the scent of a female who is ready to mate. Once a male and female find each other, they engage in a courtship ritual that includes playing and testing each other's fitness. The female will test the male's ability to keep up with her and his fitness level, as she will be relying on him to provide strong and healthy genes for her offspring. If the male passes the female's tests, they will mate and produce offspring. The female will raise her cubs alone, devoting herself to them for two to three years. Hammerhead Sharks Mating Hammerhead sharks are known for their unique mating behavior. Like many other species of sharks, they reproduce using internal fertilization. Hammerhead sharks have a complex courtship ritual that involves both the male and female swimming in circles around each other, while the male tries to bite the female's pectoral fins to assert dominance. If the male is successful in his courtship display, he will then position himself beside the female and use his claspers to transfer sperm. Female hammerhead sharks have a reproductive cycle that lasts between one and two years, and they are capable of storing sperm from multiple males for extended periods of time. This allows them to mate with multiple partners and potentially increase their chances of producing offspring with strong genetic diversity. When the baby hammerhead sharks, also known as pups, are ready to be born, the female will give birth to them in shallow, protected areas such as swamps. Snow Bunting Mating 
Snow buntings are small, sparrow-like birds that breed in the Arctic tundra. Their breeding season is short, and they have a very distinctive courtship display that is used to attract a mate. During the display, the male snow bunting will puff out his chest and sing a series of trills and whistles while flapping his wings. If the female is interested, she will respond by fluffing out her feathers and calling back to the male. Once the pair has bonded, they will build a nest together on the ground, usually among rocks or in a shallow depression. During the winter months, both male and female snow buntings have white feathers that help them blend in with the snow and ice. However, as spring approaches and the breeding season begins, the males start to molt their feathers and develop a breeding plumage. Galapagos Tortoise Mating Galapagos tortoise mating is a fascinating and unique process. These giant tortoises are the largest in the world, and their mating behavior is no less impressive. During the mating season, male tortoises become highly territorial and will fight with other males for access to females. Once a male has established his dominance, he will start to search for a mate. Mating usually takes place between January and August and can last for several hours. When the male finds a receptive female, he will approach her and start to nuzzle her neck and head. The female will either accept or reject the male's advances. If she accepts him, she will stretch her head and neck out to make it easier for the male to mount her. The male will then climb onto the female's back, using his front legs to hold onto her shell. Kangaroo mating Male kangaroos often fight for the right to mate with a female kangaroo. These fights can be brutal, with the males boxing each other with their powerful hind legs and occasionally biting each other with their sharp teeth. The fights are usually only a few minutes long and typically end when one of the males retreats. The male with the strongest odor usually wins the fight and has a greater chance of attracting a mate. The winner then proceeds to mate with the female. Once a male has successfully mated, he will move on to find another mate. The female kangaroo will typically give birth to one joey per year. Interestingly, female kangaroos can delay the development of a fertilized egg for several months until conditions are optimal for birth. This allows them to time the birth of their young to coincide with favorable abundant food and water. Prairie Dog Mating During the mating season, male prairie dogs will compete for the attention of females by performing a series of elaborate displays, such as jumping and chasing. Once a female chooses a mate, they will engage in a brief courtship ritual before copulation occurs. Interestingly, female prairie dogs are known to be quite promiscuous and will often mate with multiple males during the breeding season. This behavior is thought to increase genetic diversity and improve the chances of offspring survival. Prairie dogs live in social groups called coteries or clans. These groups contain one or two dominant males, a number of yearling males, and a majority of females. All of these members are related except for the dominant male who would have been born in another territory and dispersed. They are known for their adorable appearance and distinctive vocalizations. Fossa mating. The fossa has a unique mating system that is different from many other mammals. Rather than the males competing for the attention of females and females are the ones in charge, they will choose a mate and initiate the mating process. When a female is in heat, she will release a strong scent to attract males. Several males will come to her location and begin to compete for her attention. The female will then choose a mate based on his size, strength, and the quality of his scent. Interestingly, female fossas have a pseudopenis, like hyenas, which is used during mating to help grip onto the male. This makes the mating process more successful and ensures that the male will not escape before the copulation is complete. Fossa mating is a unique and interesting process where the females are the ones in charge and have a special adaptation to make sure the mating is successful. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more amazing content. Let us know in the comments what you'd like to see next. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.